enough of being selfish and just caring about your benefits. What about nature's nature benefits? So I have a new series, brand new series that I'm just starting right now and this is really exciting. It's super excited. This series will be awesome. And do you know how I came up with this idea? I have been bugging my subscribers and my Facebook fans, not bugging, I just send them like a texting, hey, can you guys give me a feedback and some ideas of what I, be sh I, what I should be discussing here that you guys want to hear about? because. Honestly, I'm in a limbo right now. I don't know what to post or anything, right? So, Ed, my lovely father-in-law, came to me with a really specific question about toilet paper. And then, seeing what he was wondering about, made my mind work a little bit. And then, bah, I figure out what I'm going to be talking. And, actually, this new series will be called Cost Environment Benefit. I'll be talking about what goes through my mind when I'm choosing one brand over the other. <laughs> because you, my friend, you being a customer, you have no idea how much power you have when you're choosing a product that's environmental friendly against a product that's completely not. What I look at, first of all, and I don't even check the price, I just aim for the product that has the least amount of packaging. <laughs> yep, I just go like less packaging, less packaging, found, found two brands that has the least amount of packaging. And then I look at the product itself. Is it made out of recycled materials? What, a, what, what about when I am done with this product? Will this product be able to get recycled or not? And then I look also to the packaging, right? Because people keep forgetting, but packaging is also a product. So I look at the packaging and I say, can I recycle this packaging? Can I repurpose it? Can I reuse it, right? Um, and then after evaluating this, I also try to find if some products are more local than others, right? So, and then I was like, I figure out that, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see which one is closest from here. Maybe there's some manufacturers that are in Calgary itself. So why not buy that, right? And then the last thing I would check is the price. And I have to be honest with you. If, and if the cost is a little bit bigger, not like huge, but acceptable, I will buy the most expensive product because I'm spending my money in a good cause, right? So those are the things that you should start thinking when buying a product. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. And the series will be you guys bringing me ponderations about some products. Should I choose this product over that? Why, Vanessa? What's your environmental input in these regards? So please, don't, for, don't, don't forget to comment underneath this video here some ideas that you're like, oh, Vanessa, I don't know which product should I buy. Can you help me figure it out? So the first video of the series will be called Toilet Paper. <laughs> Actually, the name will be Toilet Paper, Think or Think. So stay tuned for my next video that I will be recording. I'm doing some research right now. Pretty awesome research that I got so far. And we're gonna go from there. Let's see how it goes. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. So have a good day. Have a good night. And you know, right? Don't be a waster and benefit nature out of your purchase.